Dros. Before we bring comedian Jim Norton out, take a look at him in action. I uh, also went to Cancun this year. I went to Cancun last, uh, actually last March for spring break. MTV flew me down. I did two pilots for them, uh, neither of which got picked up. And I kind of figured they wouldn't, because MTV has a certain look they go for, you know. <laughs> I figured it would be a lot of fun, but it was ultimately depressing, because there are just things in life that remind you of what an old, out-of-shape nothing you really are. These are all beautiful 19, 20 on a beach, and I am an atrocity without clothing. I really am... Come on, Jim. You look great. What are you talking about? Jim. What's Hi. up? How are you? How are you? you? Welcome. Good. How are you doing? Welcome to San Diego. What bit was... I, I could only see my, my... What a fatso I was in that clip. Stop it. No. Ugh. That was like eight years ago. Was it? Yeah. I was figuring that has to be a long time ago because you look amazing right now. Thank like, you. Where are you. But I really about? was fat then. Well. Thank you. Um, I like to say, you know, full. It's always nice to keep it positive. Well, you look good now, but back then, yeah, it was really disgusting. <laughs> no, you weren't. You look awesome. Thank well, you. Welcome to San Diego. Oh, thank you. It's delightful. Is it? Yeah. What's with this rain? Did you uh, bring it with you? I did, yes. Mm. That, that and herpes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Hold on. Sit over there. That's right, I won't sneeze on you. <laughs> okay, please don't. Uh, it's good to have you here. Thank you. Uh, you're a big face. A lot of people know uh, who you are. I'm a big face. See, it's in that clip. I'm a big face, big fat neck. <laughs> I didn't say that. Big manly I'm, bosoms. I, manly bosoms? Yes, I what have. What are them. manly bosoms? Those are when you when you refuse to work out as a man, you begin to develop bosoms. <laughs> and I had them for many years, and it's humiliating. How'd you lose all the weight out of curiosity? I literally had one too many self hatred moments in front of the, in the mirror. Come on. I, I honestly, I really did. I, I caught a massage therapy just like massaging my stomach and I just kind of looked up and I just saw her like looking up she looked like ugh and I was like I gotta do something because if, like, if, like, if hookers can't fake it I really am in trouble you just said that out loud yeah why not I'm scared to also ask you about other things out loud like, I won't about, be I won't what? curse okay okay please don't because no. on live TV okay Man Titeo we're talking a lot about um, him he's like all over the news I know I used to sleep with his ex-girlfriend that's so mean. She doesn't exist. It's okay. Why are you making fun of him? Why am I making fun of him? Because he has, he's saying, I, I'm in love with my girlfriend. She just died. And like, you know, that was a man. I mean, we've all been fooled before. Have... <laughs> That's <laughs> bad. That was a man's voice on that voice. No, you, you don't know that. Oh, okay. Like it, was, it sounded to me like a, lot of, like a lot of women that I've paid who kind of walked out. Hi, daddy. Oh, hello, sir. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that right now. You, uh, you love to roast people. I do, yeah. Why? It's fun too because it's a fun atmosphere. When you when you're roasting somebody, you're kind of brutalizing them, but they expect it and they're okay with it. So Are they okay with it? Usually, yeah. Lita Ford got a little hurt last night. Uh, we roasted Dee Snyder, and once in a while you hear about somebody getting upset, but usually people take it in stride. So like, I've always wondered this. Like, when you roast, are you using the truth to roast, or how do you how do you go after people like that? You, you, you're exaggerating it. You can't just be mean. Like, if you hate somebody's guts, you can't roast them because it's going to come off as so very real. So you have to love them. You love these people. Well, you like them. I wouldn't you say like I love them. them. Yeah. Okay. Like, I like Dee Snyder. I don't love them. I okay. like them. Um, it, was fun. it was fun to attack them because I really do enjoy them. But if I hated them, I couldn't have roasted them. Uh, do, you, do you come up with, like, your own stuff, like, right off the fly? Or you have to think about this stuff in advance? Like You do both. You write in advance and you also you, you mock what's happening in the room. Do you have to know the people? No. I, okay, I, good. Come here. Oh, he's going to love me for this. Can you turn around? You yeah. know. There you go. Okay, this is Justin on our floor. Roast this guy. One thing. Uh, roast Justin? Yeah, something. What do you want to say about Justin? That's... What do you want to say? I know, I know. <laughs> he's, he's getting his fist ready, so I guess we're going to get along fine. <laughs> yeah, I, nothing bad to say about Justin. You're in better shape than I am. Uh, you're not much of a dresser, but I mean, you're not a bad looking guy, and I like the fact that you don't shave. What do we want to talk about, Justin? <laughs> that, that works, that yeah. works. Thank you, Justin. He's going to kill me for wow, that. Wow, you really later. took a big risk there that I wasn't going to say something awful on live television. Well, come on. You can't be that bad. Um, and that's what roasting is, isn't it? Yeah, but usually, you know, you, if you say somebody say something immediately, we're just going to say something really mean and usually very tasteless and dirty. Yeah, well, okay. We don't want that. No, of course not. Okay. Um, I really showed a lot of restraint there. Yes, you did. Uh, what do you say to anybody that calls you? Because I've heard that they call you an angry comic what does that mean and what do you say to that it's just it's silly i'm not an angry comic um i just an angry comic i'm a very ha you're sitting next to me do i seem angry to you i'm a, I'm a happy go lucky uh you know, person. You are. Yes, I am. <laughs> I feel like a nice connection between us. Do you feel a connection? Yeah, that means she doesn't feel a connection. When they ask your, when they repeat your question, do you feel a connection? She's just trying to think of how fast is it going to be over until this creep is off my sofa. 
<laughs> That's not what I'm thinking. I hope not. No, you're, you're really cool. Uh, in your first book, you write about some embarrassing star sightings. You wrote a book? I wrote two, yeah. Okay. What about? Oh, the th well, it's funny you ask. The first one, uh, I was on the radio show that got canceled. We got kicked off the yep, air for two yep. years. So I was depressed. And I was getting a lot of happy ending massages, and I wrote a book called Happy Endings. Oh, my gosh. And uh, the second book was called I Hate Your Guts. It was just about people I don't like. Oh. You, you asked. That's what all it was about. I got happy ending massages for two years, and I decided to blog about it and write a book. You love massages, oh, it seems like. We've talked I? about yes. this a lot. I have a lot of tension. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. <laughs> you are what, what, Chrissy? Chrissy? Yes. No, no, no. I was just laughing and giggling. Oh, okay. oh thank you, Chrissy. Anytime, Jim. Jim, you want to do the weather? I would I'm love to do the weather. Shelly, um, I'm sorry. Did I interrupt you? Did you no. Want to why don't we do this? We're going to tell everybody for your show. Uh, it's at the American Comedy Company. It's yes. tonight and tomorrow. If anybody wants to come see you in the gas lamp quarter. Yes. You want, you that was not very encouraging, though. If anybody wants to come see you, look, if you, you have, have nothing to, else well, to do. You know what? You're the one that has to sell it, not Oh, me. yeah. American Jim. Comedy Company. It's going to be a blast tonight and tomorrow. Lots of big laughs. I'm probably not even looking at the right.